Hey there everyone, Pallet here, and welcome back. Today, I just want to take 5-10 minutes, do a little bit of a channel update, go over what's going on on the channel, what I'm going to continue to do going forward, things along that nature. Because the channel has substantially grown in the last 6 weeks. Uh, it's kind of funny, since I've kind of changed up my Star Citizen coverage, uh, start went from what I was doing before, ship overviews and just random gameplay and thoughts, and started tackling direct ideas or conversations within it. Uh, started with right after the new year, looking back at 2016 and then my 2017 predictions, what I think they need to do. Uh, the put up or shut up video really got a lot of clicks started. And then obviously the two pay to win videos have for my channel been massive in terms of the conversation generated, the clicks generated, the views generated. As such, we're actually quickly approaching 500 subscribers. And let's not make any big deal out of it, 500 subscribers is still laughably small, but as someone who has only ever done this as a passion project, this is something I do when I'm not working, have free time or whatever, this is how I get to have that conversation about video games. In my real life, I have plenty of things where I can talk about just about anything else, be it uh, politics, be it automobiles, I'm a bit of a gearhead, uh, just sports, all of those things. I have real life friends that are into all of those different elements, but I don't have too many friends anymore that are really into video gaming. I would say there's like one that also plays games, but even then he's pretty darn casual about it. And I do enjoy discussing video games, so this is kind of my outlet for that. Um, and as such, I, I never really, like, I wanted the channel to at least have some subscribers. You know, I, I ideally, I think if I'd ever hit 10,000, I would be amazed. Uh, but for many years, it was sitting at less than 150. Uh, I did get a no noticeable increase when I did the Black Desert Online tutorial videos because that game had a, a fairly steep learning curve. So those brought in quite a few people who then a lot of them left after I stopped making those videos because I stopped playing the game. The game became no longer fun. Well, we're seeing an influx again with people for Star Citizen with the videos I've brought out about that. Now, the good news is I don't plan on leaving Star Citizen anytime soon. I have a significant amount of money invested in that game. I am currently in charge of a division within PAX Gaming that is going to be in Star Citizen and all of that. So at least until we start really seeing the game flesh out, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be invested within Star Citizen as content goes. Um, though I do think like what I want it so yeah, that, that's the, the baseline uh, of where we're sitting today. It's, it's great to see these people coming in. 500 subscribers, well, not a lot. It's, it's definitely a step up from where I've been in the past. Even just the comments, the likes, even the dislikes. I, it's just good to see feedback on the videos. For years, if you go back through a lot of my videos, you'll see 12, 16 views and nothing on them. And to have a video get even 1,200 views, but 30, 40 comments and 15 thumbs up or thumbs down, that's a significant improvement over before. And I've never been someone to ask for the like or dislike, ask for the subscription. That's just not who I am. It, it is rewarding to see some of that come back in and starting to work out. So going forward, I'm going to continue on with that Star Citizen content. My plan is basically one topic a week. I'm looking to cover something probably on Saturday or Sunday. I'll record it. It'll go up either late Saturday or sometime during Sunday based on Star Citizen. Uh, it's going to be one a little more thoroughly researched. Uh, I'm going to do a little more subscription, or not subscription, but uh, a little more of a, a, a script for it. So it's less rambly. Um... And hopefully a little more concise than they currently are. I tend to, I do ramble. I also tend to just free go go at it when I do these videos, as you can tell I'm doing right now, without a pre-rehearsed, pre-recorded script or anything like that. So I'm going to try and focus those videos into being of higher quality content. Beyond those, though, I'm going to do some other content, which is probably mostly going to revolve around World of Warships. From what I've learned is in order to show up in... YouTube searches, recommendations and stuff. One of the big metrics is not so much, well, it is uh, it is um, interactivity with your videos, it is views and things, but another metric that they follow quite big is how frequently you upload videos. Uh, if you put out a video once a month, uh, you're not likely to show up in someone's feeds or whatever as much as if you put out five videos a week. 
Now, I'm not going to go to that extreme. That is beyond what it is. But what I'm looking at doing is two videos a week of random content, plus then that one video on Star Citizen on the weekend. Now, the two random videos a week, one of those could definitely be Star Citizen, especially when we start thinking in things like 2.6.1, and there's a little more to talk about with that. But they're more likely to be other games, uh, including World of Warships. Uh, the other games could be, I'm currently dabbling around with Age of Conan, I'm actually back into Minecraft, we have For Honor coming out here soon, we, had, we just had the Ghost Recon Wildlands beta, um, there's going to be Mass Effect Andromeda real soon, there's actually quite a few games coming out here in February, March, April timeframe, so there could be some coverage of that. Uh, however, as I said earlier, I am a, a, a full-time worker. I do have a 40-hour-a-week job. And while my job is very forgiving, I can work from home some days, it doesn't allow me to always be... I can't set a schedule of create video Tuesday, create a video Thursday and such. So some of the other content is going to be that World of Warships I keep going back to. If you haven't caught on, I really like this game. I think I think it's an amazing game, uh, really good, even for a free-to-play game. And I'm not trying to push it on people, I just, I really enjoy playing this game, so I'm putting a lot of time into it. And the game, ha I have it set up to automatically record replays, so I have hundreds of replays of battles. Now, I'm not going to just throw them all up there, that's not the way, be the way I go about it, but you have good battles, bad battles, just interesting battles. The one you're watching in the back here is a battle I lost, or no, we, we, we did win this one. I didn't play particularly well, but it was a really exciting battle. It was kind of like, holy crap, when it went off, it went off. So that's why I decided to show that video. It's just kind of a, a fun, interesting battle. Um, so I'm thinking those would be kind of the filler content. I'm not so worried about people watching them if you're into World of Warships. You know, great, here's some World of Warships content. But it does keep the channel active two additional days in the week, say like Tuesday and Thursday or so. Uh, so that's kind of the thought process. There's also um, the new season of Ranked Competition is starting in World of Warships on Friday. And I'm really going to give it a go. In previous seasons, I've made it, I've tried, and I've had success there. I make it up to about rank 10, at which point it becomes a time investment. Uh, it, my skill is still there. I could continue on. Like, I'm still winning and progressing. But you need to win a certain amount of times within a certain window. Essentially, you need to have a positive 5 win ratio within whatever rank you're at. And it just becomes time investment. Uh, time consuming to do. So I've tend to stop when you get to that point. Um, this year though, or this season, I'm going to try really hard to see how high I can get. I'm shooting for rank five. I think I'm good enough for rank one. I don't know, but I think I'm good enough for rank one and I'm going to try for it. So I'm probably going to document some of that as I go through some of the good battles, but also some of the bad battles. Uh, some of the battles that don't play out as expected as I wanted them to. You can learn just as much from the bad battles as you can the good battles. The ones where you make the mistakes, seeing those mistakes are good. Um, when you just steamroll an enemy, there's less you can actually learn from a lot of that footage feeding back into the, the, the learning lerp, loop. And there is a lot to learn within World of Warships. So I think that's going to be kind of where it goes. When a game comes out, when there's something I'm actively playing, be it like Conan Exiles right now. I think I might have said Age of Conan before. It's Conan, Conan Exiles, not Age of Conan. Um, Mass Effect when that comes out or whatever. I'll do that coverage, but other times it'll probably be World of Warships. And occasionally a second video of Star Citizen thrown in there also. Uh, the only thing I then need to decide on is with these World of Warship replays, how I want to handle them. I could do them as a play-by-play, -play, just talking over, uh, explaining what's going on for new people, or I can actually go more into my thought process as I'm making these decisions, because that is one of the big reasons I really like that game, is there's a lot of thinking about it before you before you act. There, there's this uh, extra layer of strategy above the initial gameplay, above the, the aiming and shooting, there's a strategy in terms of where you're going to position your ship, your angling, there, there's a lot more to it than that. So I could do either just the play-by-play, -play or I could do the strategy. It'll probably end up being something in between a little bit of both. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to have to be a trial and error thing. If I put out these videos and 
it causes people to start leaving the channel because they're being flooded by notifications uh, or just because they don't care about that and two videos a week of something else isn't enough to keep them subscribed for the one video of Star Citizen, that could be a problem. Mm, it, it's just going to be a trial and error type thing. Uh, I think that about does it. I would like to say uh, again to the, the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Paller. Uh, that's P-A-L-O-R. I know it's Epic Fail Gaming is the channel name. Uh, Paller is what I go by. I am a member of PAX Gaming. I'll leave a link down below. If you're looking for an online gaming community, a uh, community that has a lot of focus in different MMOs, things from Star Citizen, like I said, but uh, all the way back to WoW, Elder Scrolls Online, um, Final Fantasy 14. We have Divisions 3000 and some members active in all the major MMOs. We have people that play the survival games uh, and all of that. So if you're looking for someone to, or like-minded gamers to, to play, uh, check out the link down below. You might find, find a group that you are interested in hanging out with. Um, any feedback, any thoughts on the channel, on the videos, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, this has been Paller. Thanks for watching.